hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to talk about something that i'm really passionate about which is breast cancer the month of october is known to be is known to be breast cancer awareness month globally so that's one of the reasons why i'm making this video i've been in the clinic a lot of times and i've seen women come in at very late stages of cancer and i felt like if more is done to bring awareness maybe they'll be able to come in earlier so, so i'm doing my part in bringing awareness to, this, to breast cancer by making this video so i'm going to start out by saying in very simple terms what breast cancer is breast cancer is a condition or a disease in which this in which cells in your in your breast divide grow and divide at a rate that is uncontrolled and then there's an accumulation of these abnormal cells which forms a mass or a tumor so now this mass or tumor has an ability to spread to surrounding tissues and even travel far to other parts of your body and form new tumors so which is why we are raising awareness so that you can catch these tumors early enough before they spread to other parts of your body you might be wondering what causes breast cancer well the exact cause of breast cancer is unknown, but there are a lot of factors that can increase one's chances of getting breast cancer. One of these factors includes your sex. Um, being a woman increases one's chances of getting breast cancer. Now, I'm not saying men can have breast cancer. I've personally seen a case where a man came to the clinic and he had breast cancer and we had to treat him. So. Being a woman increases your chances of getting breast cancer. Another factor is your age. Women above the age of 50 have an increased chance of getting breast cancer. Another very important factor is family history. If your mom, your sister, your auntie, any close relative has had breast cancer before, it increases your chances of getting breast cancer. If also you previously had breast cancer in one breast, the chances of it reoccurring in the other breast are also increased. Another fact, another factor that increases your chances of getting breast cancer is smoking and taking alcohol. Smoking and alcohol consumption are generally bad for you, so it's no surprise that they increase your chances of getting breast cancer. Another factor is taking oral contraceptives. These are known to tamper with your hormones, so somehow they have a tendency to increase your chances of getting breast cancer. There are some signs that when you see, maybe some changes that occur in your breast, that when you see these changes, you should go and see your doctor. Such changes include a lump in your breast or pain, feeling pain or any type of change in the shape and size of your breast or maybe there is discharge coming out from your nipples which may contain blood or anything maybe there is a change in the color of your breast the skin around your breast thickens and maybe darkens sometimes and then those are the signs that you might see and then you should not ignore them when you see the signs you should go and see your doctor i cannot talk about breast cancer without talking about breast self-examination it is very important that once at least once a month usually most preferably after your period you should perform a breast self-examination this helps to detect any changes in your breast it helps you get very familiar with your breast so that immediately there's any change or any difference in your breast size or shape you are the first to notice so I'm going to be talking more about breast self-examination there are some things that you need to perform a breast self-examination you need a mirror and maybe oil you want to stand in front of a mirror and then examine your breast you want to look at it you want to take note of the size and the shape you want to take note of the of your nipples if there's any discharge from your nipple if there's any wound on your breast or anything like that any abnormality maybe your, your breast is shaped different from the other one or different from how you know it to be then the next step now is to put your hands behind your head like this and then claps like press forward so that the muscles around your um, breast tense and then you can see the shape of your breast 
the next step is to put your hands on your hips and then press down this way your the muscles around your chest will contract and then you can see the shape of your breast then the next step is you want to put your left hand behind your head and then use your right hand to examine your breast i'm going to include pictures or a short clip so that it doesn't look weird I'm go you're going to use your right hand to examine your breast in circles closely from the outside to the inside and make sure you cover every aspect of your breast including your armpits while you're doing this you want to take note of any lump irrespective of the size and then anything you feel that is that is abnormal you should report to your doctor and the next thing you want to do is use your hand to squeeze your nipple and when you do this you want to take note of if there is any discharge the color of the discharge and all of that after you squeeze your nipple to confirm if there's any discharge then that's it for the left breast then you want to do the same thing for the right put your hand behind your head your right hand behind your head and use your left hand to examine your your right breast remember in circular motions make sure you cover every aspect of the breast including your armpits looking out for any lumps or any hardness in any part of your breast and then remember to squeeze the nipple as well then after doing this remember in front of your mirror then the next step now is lying down you want to lie flat on your bed sometimes you may prefer to put a pillow under your shoulder or or a wrapped towel so that to make your breast to be flat this position now helps flatten the breast so that it is easier to examine so when you do this you want to perform the same examination put your hand behind your head do this all of do it all in circular motions covering while lying down so that is the final aspect of the self breast examination you want to do this at least once a month preferably after your period so that that's when your breast is your breast is less tender but eventually you feel a lump or maybe you didn't feel a lump but you just feel like maybe one of the risk factors i mentioned earlier you fall under those categories then there's a test that you are advised to do which is called a mammogram a mammogram is a mammogram is an x-ray of the breast that is done to detect any changes or any abnormal growth in the breast. It is advised that women above the age of 40, like I said, women above the age of 40 have an increased risk of having breast cancer. So it's advised that after the age of 40, you should have a mammogram done at least once a year for the rest of your life. So this helps to detect the cancer on time so that it can be treated before it gets the chance to cause any harm or spread to the rest of your body. After a mammogram is done, there's some other tests that can be done as well, but then that depends on your doctor. He, if when you go to the hospital, your doctor will be the one to tell you to do those other tests, so I'm not going to go deep into that. After the test has been done and the breast cancer has been confirmed, your doctor will now tell you the next course of treatment. It, there, are other, there are many options. There can be surgery, they, you can use drugs, which we call chemotherapy, you can use radiation therapy, or uh, there are many options, but that will be between you and your doctor. That is the major reason why I'm making this video, to implore you as a woman to take better care of yourself. And then if, those, if you notice that these abnormalities are present, please see a doctor. Your doctor will advise you on what to do, the next course of action, if you need surgery or you need drugs or whatever, your doctor will be the one to now tell you what to do. A diagnosis of breast cancer is not a death sentence. I've personally seen a lot of women that come to the hospital early enough and they are treated and they are able to go home and live a normal life. So please, if you or anyone that you know has lump or has a, has a lump in their breast or any form of abnormalities in their breast, please advise them to see a doctor and not just see a doctor because I've seen women that come see a doctor and once they hear breast cancer, they run away. So if you come and you are diagnosed of breast cancer don't be scared it's not a death sentence 
follow up with your treatment as advised by your doctor and you will see that you'll be able to live a normal life if you enjoyed this video and you learned one or two from this video please do your part by sharing this video so that much more people can be enlightened about breast cancer and we can catch it on time and treat it on time as well please like this video leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye